Hello guys, welcome back to the third episode of Talk It and Live It with your host, me, Bella. If you haven't watched the previous three episodes, don't worry, I will put the links to those episodes in the description box so you can go check them out and support. Uh, back to it, let me first start this episode by appreciating my viewers. If you are new here, please hit the subscription button and relax. And um, if you are a returning member, you guys, you are the best. You rock, you are my world. And I'm sure by now you know that I appreciate you. Seriously, I appreciate you. Now, let's dive in today's topic. Um, today, I just want to encourage someone. Um, I know a lot has been happening uh, and is still happening uh, these days. Uh, you may be a victim of the current tragedies, losses and financial constraints. But I'm here today to encourage you to go through this. But hey, I want to tell you that nothing is permanent. So don't panic too long. Nothing is permanent except God and his promises. Ecclesiastes 13 verse 4 says, To everything has a season. So tell yourself, I'm in a season and I will be back. While it's in this season, which I want to call a crisis, also remember, there are also benefits that comes with this. You may wonder, what benefits? But yeah, let me tell you, Shakespeare said, sweet are the uses of adversity. Don't take that lightly. So this crisis may have left you or may have put you uh, in a serious, terrible situation, or you may be miserable. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know or, or how things will turn up, how things will end. Um, but remember, there's a silver lining to bad times. So this may be the time to develop new opportunities for you. So don't stay too long in that uh, feeling or having those feelings, wondering what may happen, what will I do, my life has ended. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent except for God's promises. Everything else shall pass. So with that being said, crisis creates new ways to break the patterns so if you don't dwell too long in your situation right now i'm quite sure you will find the new ways to break this pattern and you will be successful or you'll be happy you know you'll be happy sooner you may be worried how am i going to earn or make money yet i'm just stuck at home Mind you, I'm referring to my viewers who are in China. Um, as you know, most experts here are in the teaching field. So my advice would be you can try out other options such as online teaching. I'm sure there are a lot of companies that are looking for online teachers. As it's, during this crisis, most of the students, they've turned out to uh online classes taking online classes so it may be your opportunity too that you may even benefit from after this crisis that you can use it as your side hustle you know online classes you have tons and tons of time at home that you can research search for online schools search for online businesses that are looking for someone like you and you can make money when this you are in the comfort of your home so uh, this won't be a problem at all, but you just need to stand up there, open your eyes. You have the opportunities in front of you. All you need is your computer and the internet. That's it. That's it. No cost, nothing. Just in the comfort of your house, you can run this, you can do this. And when things get back to normal, you can still continue to do it as a side hustle. So that means you can, it can go a long way. You cannot... Um, continue to earn you can continue to make a living out of it maybe it may be something you may want to use uh, keep for longer you know you don't know but just try it rather than just crying over the closed door at the moment um, 
it may be you may be in a situation that you lost your job and i want to say crying over the closed door may not be the best option for you right now seize the the time and seize this time to create new opportunities there may be a door that is opened at the end of the room uh, or the other side um but if you continue to dwell on why we why was i sacked and why did i lose this job that was the best job for me it may not do good to you at all so while least you are in this period of confusion and wondering what did i do since this moment look for new opportunities you may not know maybe there is a reason why that door closed before you it may be that reason was for you to find a better something, you know, a better something. Usually when you are fired or you are sacked, the result is you may end up with something superb, something fabulous, something way better than the one that you were chased from. So seize the moment, look for better opportunities. And I wish you luck on that. Okay. And uh, it may be the losses of loved ones. Yeah, as you know, um, I, I I don't know if you guys you, if you know Kobe Bryant and other uh, celebrities around the world that lost their lives um, in the past few days. Um, I've been following that, and I see the world is crying with uh, uh, for their lives, crying for their souls. But hey. Um, I, I wouldn't want us to dwell in mourning, you know, rather we can we need to celebrate you You can celebrate uh, the time that you you spend with those people You can cherish the best memories and share them with others and this will help you to embrace the loss and also uh, The good memories will linger a long way and you find that you may celebrate their lives for the rest of your life and then you won't have to be mourning and uh, have to be depressed about the departed soul, you know. We just know that in the future or someday we will be reunited again. I hope that you have been encouraged. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. I will reply to all your comments. If you still haven't subscribed, you need help. Seriously. Just kidding. But subscribe and turn on your notification bell don't hesitate to show your likes and your loves see you in the next episode it's goodbye for now bye